Hello guys, welcome back. Sorry it's taken so long to get this card deck out. Um, for a while I've had um, Sharpie marks on my cards just for quick edits, um, additional information and this and that. And I finally got around to uh, getting the cards actually done. So um, nothing has really changed. Um, it's just um, I had a lot of data I wanted to add. Um, just make sure there was no miscommunication in what was read and what I meant. So I think we're good. So as you can see, this is a pretty big deck here. Again, uh, never mind my dirty hands. I'm painting and staining, and uh, there's lots of going on there. So I'm not a I'm not a bum. Just uh, got stained. Okay, so just really quick turn sequence. Um, I don't need to go over all these. I kind of did briefly. I just want to make sure you know what is in the deck. I'll oh, have the turn sequence card. Basically, it's just to go over the research and development. <coughs> Excuse me. Unit, st unit statistics. Um, the only thing really in here that is not out of box is the sh uh, naval shipyard costs. You can see those are lower than what they are out of box. There is a combined arms. The only change on this is the battleship and cruiser. While those are paired, the cruiser defends at four. That is a one on one basis, just like anything else. Research and development, and research and development. Naval blockade, I do have a video on this. Um, I will be doing new videos on these um, just to make sure uh, you know we're all on the same page. Um, I'm gonna be doing, because they're gonna be labeled as a bloodbath video um, and not the advanced warfare. This one has not changed, so that video is still accurate. Um, target select that is this is another one that is in advanced warfare and that data has not changed submarine is all out of box convoy disruption is all out of box bombing raid um, this is different as you can see there are three categories um, the attack fighter damage, the strategic bomber damage, and the heavy bomber damage. Um, aside for that, it is all this, um, all out of box. Uh, we are still adding the two points to each die to uh, the bomber's roll. And you, you can see here, um, max damage is a lot higher on the different um, bomber you use. Scramble, out of box. Um, this one has been changed. Uh, there is a video called Paratroopers. That video um, is kind of the same, but we just added more to it. As you can see, now we have a cargo plane and a transport plane. Uh, we have combat drops and non-combat drops. Um, I don't need to sit here and read all these cards because it's way too many to read. But um, if you have any questions when you're reading through these, just feel free to ask and I will go over them as best I can. Make sure uh, you, know, you, uh, you understand. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Transport is out of box. Though I did um, add some more information on here just to make sure that there was no uh, if, ands, or buts. Uh, all, all stuff I added was out of the rule books. Uh, railway. Um, I mentioned the railway video uh, is a little bit uh, depreciated. Um, same concept, except everybody moves at three and it is limited to the territory IPC value now. Amphibious assault, out of box. Anti-aircraft, out of box. Though, um, maybe uh, we don't want to get into changing any, any more rules. Um, we're, you know, the bloodbath rules, we really like them, but after the event, um, there will be some changes to the anti-aircraft gun, just not at this time for this for this event. Okay, now we are on. So this is the rule deck. Rule deck is 16 cards. Um, each player will have their own card deck. So uh, when you arrive, um, each station will have a whole set of these. So you will have um, access to the data um, at any given time. You don't have to share with your partner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But for the time being, of course, um, you can still download these and print them and use them. All right, let's get these out of the way. 
Let's go down to the nation cards. Uh, there's so many of them here. Okay, I just did a Russia video. So while well, we saw this, uh, I got the finally I got the data ended uh, added. I'm sorry for the Mongolians. So we got the cavalry units, just the data down there. Uh, political si situation is out of box. Uh, production rules, we went over that in the video. Uh, Lend lease, we went over that in the video. Um, mentioned about the one time payment, uh, the three for uh, Siberia, Urals, and Ukraine. And then we have out of box. We have out of box. Okay, next, China. China political si situation is out of box. National objective out of box. And here is the China card. You can see on the I just go over it in the China video. Um, nothing's changed, it's the same. United States. This is, gets a little bit different. Uh, <clears throat> they have the same national objectives. Um, I'm gonna do a victory condition video soon. Um, I, I finally have gotten all the points figured out to because like I said, we have rules here that we don't need points, uh, but there is a very easy way for winner and loser. And, but we needed a way for points only because if someone was a tie at the event, I need a secondary way to determine which team actually did better. So there is a point system, but this falls into more of the victory conditions. This is all out of box except for in the bottom here, the fall of Washington. Uh, in the event the Axis capturing Washington, allies must regain Washington by or on America's next turn. If allies fail to retake Washington, the game is immediately ended with an Axis victory. So if you are Washington, uh, you don't want to lose all your stuff, but all these are out of box, so there's no reason to go through these. Germany. It's almost the same thing. Um, is out of box for a political situation, but their fall of Berlin in the event of the Allies capturing Berlin. Allies must regain Berlin by or on Germany's next turn. If, Ac if Axis fail to retake Berlin, the game is immediately ended with an Allied victory. Now, um, do you remember I, I did add some cards because if you are at war with Italy, you know, go over that in a second, there is one national objective added. Germany has at least five submarines on the map. Um, add a box. Add a box. Add a box. Um, add a box. Um, Germany controls London. And this one is almost the same. Uh, before, it used to say if Germany was not at war with Soviet Union, uh, we change it to if Europe axis are not at war with Soviet Union. That is because there was this cheap shot Italy can do by going there, taking a territory, and Germany move up, still collecting its uh, bonus for not being at war with Soviet Union. And we felt that was kind of uh, cheap, so we changed it to if Europe axis are not at war with Soviet Union is the bonus. If Germany controls Rome, again, I'd look at the top, at war with Italy. Same thing, at war with Italy for each territory that was that Germany controls that was originally Italian. Japan, uh, basically the same as Berlin, the fall of Tokyo. In the event of the Allies capturing Tokyo, Axis must regain Tokyo by or on Japan's next turn. If Axis failed to retake Tokyo, the game is immediately ended with an Allied victory. Um, I added there uh, just a card for the Mongolian defense. So, uh, you know, the Japan player as well as the Russia player has this card. Uh, there's a Kamikaze strike card. Okay, out of box. Okay, now this one uh, was changed. Uh, before it was five IPCs if Japan controls all of these islands simultaneously that is almost impossible now one of our victory points is these islands so what happens now is you get if, if as japan you get three ipcs per territory so you you will get three ipcs for guam even if you have guam only and all these down all these trickle down so this would be a maximum of 15 ipcs 
plus five if Japan controls Burma. Now, if you get Calcutta, you're more than likely going to get Burma. Plus ten, Japan controls all Chinese territories. Um, that include that includes the ones that Japan originate with. Um, every every Chinese roundel must be covered to keep this. So if you have them all, but you say you just lost Manchuria, well then you do not have them all. Add a box. Add a box. Okay, Italy. <clears throat> we go here. Fall of Rome. In the event of the Allies capturing Rome, Italy will immediately change from Axis power to an Allied power. Okay, in addition, will automatically be in a state of war against Germany for the duration of the game. Um, I'm going to do, I'm not going to go read anymore. It's kind of pointless as I'm going to do the Italy bid so we can really go over this. Because it's, uh, it's not that it's complicated, it's just different and uh, historically accurate. So uh, don't think I'm crazy. So at war with allies is out of box. At war with allies is out of box. Um, this is the one. No, well, hold on a second. Did I mess up? No, out of box. Okay, and then out of box, I added one. That's why I was getting, I was getting mixed up. Um, out of box. Oh, this is at war with Germany. So for each territory that Italy controls that was originally German or pro-Axis. Um, Italy will get a bonus for uh, keeping Northern Italy once at war with Germany. Um, this is one that we add for at war with allies is the Africa Horn, which was one of their goals. So it's one IPC per territory if Italy controls Ethiopia, Kenya, the Sudan, Italian or British Somaliland. What that does not only give those no value territories ter uh, give those no value territories value to Italy, uh, also is historically accurate. Okay, down to France. France is out of box. We are at Anzac. Anzac is out of box. London. Um, I did a, the London video. Uh, I had a couple questions on there that my card really didn't cover. Um, so I went back and uh, added some more details. No rules have changed. It's just better explained. Uh, you know, as we play these rules, they become second nature to us. Um, kind of forget to say a couple things that probably should have been said. So here we go. This is, uh, we went over this in the uh, UK video. This is all the same. However, what I did change not change, but I added data to better better cover the, sit the situations. Um, remember, I uh, I mentioned in the UK video that we have a full income, but if you notice my map, my map does not have uh, a one side roundels. We still have a Pacific side roundels, and we still have uh, Europe side roundels. That is because if uh, um, Canada is activated, then we are forced into a split economy. So that's why those roundels have not been changed to mimic the full economy UK because we read down here, uh, if Calcutta, okay, so once okay, Canada is activated, now if Calcutta is still controlled, uh, split economy is now in effect and will remain so until London is liberated. Now once London is liberated, Canada is no longer activated and UK regains control of territories and income, meaning, if you read up above, I went over in the UK video, Canada has to run around and claim territories. They're not automatically given. Otherwise, that would be pointless to take UK. Uh, if, if Canada just absorbed all of the UK territories, basically you would still be, Axis would still be fighting UK, just a loss with a few IPCs for losing London and Scotland. So um, basically, Canada has to go around and reclaim things. Now you can't reclaim things that are still Britain, but you, but you can liberate and claim those territories. Well, once Canada is no longer activated, UK does not have to do that. UK automatically absorbs all those territories and income, just like if it would be out of box. Except the whole point was to make sure you're not fighting UK power still 
after taking London, you're only fighting um, Canada. Now, but liberating London, naturally you will get all of UK territories back and income back. So that's just, it's just better explained on the card than it was in the video. Uh, the one that I added, no access units in North Af Africa, explained in the UK video. And then this is out of box, and this is out of box. So there is uh, quite a bit of cards here. Um, when you print these, it is set up to give you a set of this and six sets of these, just because you might like six players. Um, if you only like four players, then you're going to have two extra decks, unless you want to go through and, and edit the file so it only prints four. But it is set up to print six. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions on these cards, please, please, uh, just post a question so that way I can get back to everybody. And if I need, if need be, I can go and add more data to the cards. Um, like I said, blast through the cards, look for spelling errors, look for this, look for that, and just let me know and I will update the file for everybody. But this is the Bloodbath deck. This is the deck that we've been using for a long time. Um, you noticed a lot of my Advanced Warfare videos are seven to eight months old now uh, most of which are like i said are still in effect there has been no changes um, sometimes it takes someone new to get a little zany and break something so nothing has been broken in a long time um, the railway like i said was adjusted and the paratroopers was just not just adjusted just added to it because uh, we made the bombers only attack one round and i will go onto a video that is just for the bombers. Um, so that's it. So uh, get these uh, downloaded, printed, um, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.